If you want to be a sales manager, then you don't need to go to university to become a sales manager. So if you aren't doing as well as you hoped in school, then you can, you can do a lot of jobs and be paid well for them. I think that the fact that the delegates have got really different and interesting jobs from each other and some jobs sound more interesting than others but they're all um, quite uh, like, like they've got quite a lot of skills involved in them. I learned that to do a firefighter you don't actually need many qualifications from like saying being a PE teacher so like you can really do what subjects you like but still kind of get a job that you want from doing what you like. I think it was really good that the delegates came in because they talked to us and we had the experience to talk to them and find out what they chose and how that helps us because we can choose our subjects that way. Well, I think the communication skills you really need because I want to work with children when I leave school and like to work with children you need to like break your communications down and it, in most jobs you really need to talk to a lot of the public. I wasn't really that confident at the start of it. S2 and then I kind of gained my confidence through talking to a lot of people and um, talking to the teachers and everything and I think that's really going to help because employers won't be looking for an employee that is stuttering while they're interviewing them, they'll be looking for someone who's very confident and is very clear of what they wanted. Communication skills because if you're a good people's person and you can speak to people well then it will give you really good employability skills and it make you like more likely to be in a, a public based job or a, any job that you're in. My name is Gordon Miller, um, I'm a project manager with Balfour Beatty. I've worked with Balfour Beatty for 23 years. Um, I've worked um, lastly mainly in Scotland but um, around the UK and abroad working on large electrical projects mainly. My name's Ian McCarty and I work in the NHS. I'm a radiographer in the NHS and I got into that through the radiography degree. I work within the people development uh, team within Scottish Enterprise. Scottish Enterprise is the main economic development agency for Scotland. My role is to ensure that um, our employees have the skills and um, ability to actually go out and work with businesses across Scotland and to help them economically develop, which in turn develops the economy of Scotland. I work at the Glasgow School of Art in the city centre, um, but I came to the role from a kind of library background and then to art museums and now I'm leading the project that is uh, overseeing the recovery of the art collection that was held in the Macintosh building. My current role is a station commander within the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service. Um, I've been with the organisation for 22 years having left Wood Farm School as an ex-pupil. I think the uh, developing young workforce they helps the young people uh, develop skills in terms of understanding what the workforce actually is. Um, it helps them broaden, broaden their horizons and actually understand what kinds of jobs are actually available to them. In many instances at that age young people have their mindset on the jobs that either family members have or other people have actually spoken to them about but actually across Scotland there are dozens and dozens of different types of jobs and days like this will actually help them explore what's available to them and what may interest them other than the things that they've already thought about. I think it's a good opportunity for um, the young people at the school to give some consideration to different types of careers. Um, some of the skills and uh, qualifications they may uh, need um, but also allow them to actually think about some careers that they've maybe not considered uh, in the past. I think historically there's always been quite a good range of people from different backgrounds. Uh, there was even somebody here today from recruitment which I think gave them, you know, I think sometimes they, they focus very much on vocational, uh, vocational jobs uh, and I think that's helpful uh, for them to look to see what's out there and, and um, maybe get them to think about something that they hadn't previously considered. Mm -hmm.